Hi everyone, it's Margaret Manning here with 60 and Me. Hope you're having a good day today. Thank you for being here. Um, I have got up bright and early this morning. The sun is getting warmer every day and I'm just enjoying nature. Don't you love how nature kind of just evolves? It reminds you of the, oh I don't know, just the cycle of life. <laughs> how things come and go and we have to let things and embrace things as they appear and uh, deal with the winter into the spring and summer. I don't know, I just, I love walking in nature. Is it, do you have anything that you do every morning that is kind of a ritual for you. I love to walk. It's my thing. But anyway, tea. The other thing I do every morning is drink tea. And so I've got my cup of tea this morning. I'm drinking actually. It's a really cool tea. It's um, rose and ginger. It's called Rose Wisdom, and it's ginger and rose. It's from a company called Ritual, and it's just a little nice little shop. And they sell teas and uh, perfumes and that kind of stuff. And I love my uh, rituals of tea in the morning. So hope you've got a cup of tea or coffee, something nice to enjoy and relax. Now, I want to tell you that our show today is sponsored by International Living. Now, International Living is a company that has um, a, a strategy of helping people find places to retire abroad. If you don't know where you want to retire, maybe you're thinking, oh, I don't know, Mexico or Panama, maybe Portugal or somewhere else. Um, they have people on the ground in those areas doing research and investigating, you know, what kind of the real situation is, whether there's, you know, health care issues or cost of living, um, the whole cultural angle, too. But anyway, they put together every year a global retirement index and you can pop out to their website. It's internationalliving.com. And they're forward slash 60 and me. They put together a special page for us with a video that you can watch. And it basically um, they want to share the information they've, they've gathered. So you just give them your email address and they can then send you uh, a link to this report on 25 places around the world that you might want to retire. So thanks to International Living. Now, the topic today. OK, we've talked about this a little bit before, and it's one of those things that I just um, I just find it intriguing and interesting. And I've certainly changed my style over the years. So I wanted to kind of rethink this whole idea of what's in your handbag. The benefits to having an organized handbag, it kind of for me goes along with my whole strategy of traveling lighter. I, as you know, we've <laughs> chatted about this one. I mean, I, when I travel now, I try to go carry on. If I talk and do it, I'll go carry on. And I have found that it's just made my life so much easier. And it really makes me enjoy the process more. And it's the same with a bag. I used to carry a really big handbag and I would have almost, you could just name an item. <laughs> I would have it in my bag. And um, Doreen, or Karen Kingston actually wrote this article for us and you can check it out. It's some really fun ideas in it um, about a handbag and, and how you organize it and what it number one says about your personality and then also um, you know how you can make life easier in that whole process of simplification. Now what are purses? Well purses or handbags depends whether you live in the States or Canada or England um, but whatever you call it they are meant to carry things from one place to another. They're not meant to carry your whole house in your bag, but they're, and they're, and they're things that, you know, you need on a, well, you know, you're going to need them when you're out and about in the world. Now, some people think they need a lot. Others think they need a little, but she gives some ideas, which one, one in particular that I really, really like, and I do this myself, and that is to have a place in your house, like a shelf or a little box or whatever near your door that's got everything in it that you would want to put in your in your bag so for example um you know hand wipes or um you know a hairspray or something that you might need if you were going to a particular place and you don't need it all the time so maybe you need your um, bus passes and certain in you know pieces of paper if you're going so your passport for example if you're going somewhere um, that requires it but most of the time according to karen and i do agree with her we can get by with very, very small amounts of, of stuff in our bag. So we have, I mean, this is, she lists some of the things that women have in their bags, right? So, I mean, the obvious ones, keys and wallet and credit cards and store cards and mirror and hand brush, hairbrush and comb and perfume, jewelry, lip balm, sunglasses, sunscreen materials, safety pins, sewing kits, tissues, notepad, water bottle, flashlight, <laughs> Am I reminding you of all the stuff in your bag? And then there's portable music player, your telephone or headphones, of course, um, mints, magazines. Uh, you, you can just fill, you could fill a suitcase, literally, if you had all those things in it. 
So think about your handbag. Would you want it to be opened right now, like tipped out? Well, warning, don't take your handbag over to a young child because they love handbags. I don't know what it is about handbags, but they will dig out your handbag and when you least expect it, they'll tip everything out. Max has done this a couple of times and he finds all kinds of treasures that he shouldn't have. So just but that, that's that whole process of right now, go tip your bag out. Well, not right now, in 10 minutes. Go tip your bag out and, and look at it and say, what? Did I put that in there for? Why is that there? And then do you need this little box that you can store with all your potential needs? And then as you go out that day, oh, do I need that? Yes, I need that. Do I need, um, you know, something else? Sewing kit today. Am I wearing something that might need it? Need some sewing stitch up? You know, whatever. You know what you, where you're going, what you might need. And, and then if you forget, you know, it's like, you know, that it's there next time in that box. You should have just remembered to go there first. So that's it. So leave near the door. Um, I was just going to do a little opening of my bag. And I honestly, I didn't, I didn't do a lot of cleaning up. I just grabbed it literally as before I came and sat down. Um, but I do keep it pretty tidy. So I want you to, this is what I do. I'll just share. <laughs> I'll share like I always do. I'm just, as I'm dropping down there. So this is my bag. It's a really simple one. I got it at H&M, I think. It's got one zipper in the middle, one big compartment, and it has got a little front compartment, which I use for my phone. I really, really love that, that idea. And it, it has a snap at the top to keep it safe, like a magnet. And then inside the main um, compartment is a zippered section. You can't really see it, but it's a tiny zippered section. So that's my bag. And I'll show you what's in it. Okay, here we go. So in my bag, I've got my wallet. <laughs> this is, I actually have downsized my wallet. This is very tiny. It's just big enough for some, not even credit cards. This is just, um, you know, my rail card. It's got um, my health card in there, my driver's license. Um, it's got a little, one little business card in case I need that for any reason. It's got, a, I'll, I'll show you this, this is kind of cool. This has got um, a little fold up piece of paper which I take with me everywhere on the planet, and I unfold it <laughs> four times. It's got perfume in it, too. I do that all the time as well. And if I can just get it open, it's got pictures of all my people, all my peeps, and my family, my friends, my just my memories. My I, Whenever I'm by myself, I open this little picture, I put it up somewhere, and it's wonderful. So that's in the front part of my, um, my wallet. And then in the back side of it is... Um, a section for uh, credit cards and money. I keep that all together in one little one little unit, and it's very small and compact, and it tr it encourages me to not over overpack. So that's the first thing. That's the important thing, I suppose. The one thing. This is my visa, my my Swiss visa, which I have to have with me at all times. Proves that I can live here. And then I've got I've done something that uh, Karen actually recommends, which is I have a little purse. It's just a little clip purse. And in it, I've got some things that are small. And I don't want them to be sort of lost in the bottom of my, my, my bag. So I've got a magnifying glass. So I can read the backs of things. I've got some nail clippers, which I always carry with me. Hang nails really bother me. <laughs> I've got one thing of makeup, which is a, um, it's, um, what is this one, Benefit? Or it's called Primrose. And it's like a, a blush and lipstick. And it's just one thing that I carry everywhere should have made a note of the brand. I've, I've had it for years. And then I, for some reason, I don't know why I've got this in here, a little thing of sticky tape. Uh, that's a random thing. And that's that's it. That's all I've got in that little purse. Just some small things I don't want to lose in the, in the bag. I have got a hair scrunchie, which I, which I always carry because if I'm with Max or anywhere that I need to pull my hair back, I've got a little hair scrunchie. And what else is in there? Oh, I've got a comb. Oops, I've got a comb. Not a brush, I just carry a comb because it's less weight. I have a pen, I have a pen, which is a gold pen. <laughs> and that's there. And then in the zippered compartment, I have, oh yes, I have, okay. I've got a cold, so I have some Panadol, or some I don't, aspirin or something, I don't know what it is. It's uh, for my stuffed no up nose. And I've got, oh, I've got a little thing of chocolate. Because when in Switzerland, you always have chocolate with your, your tea or drinks. And I always have a little one, just in case they forget to give me one silliness and then I have um oh yeah this is cool this is one thing I've got up in a safety pin and a little uh, drive for files 
um, because sometimes I, I just need to copy something and I've got that pin to my bag so that's never going to get lost. And then also what's in here? Oh, and some pills, some just my, my date regular medications, extras, and, and um, no, motion sickness pills. I get sick on trains sometimes. And I travel on them all the time. So that's that. Oh, yes, and this is the thing that Max found that I carry with me all the time. And uh, he loves it. I do too. It's my bubbles. I always carry bubbles. I don't know why. I have almost all my life. I just having I love having, having a moment where I'm, I can blow bubbles. <laughs> I don't know what that's all about. But anyway, I love my bubbles. So I carry that little teeny. It's like one of those things for a wedding, you know, like when you give them away. It's very tiny. And I keep that t tightly sealed in my top, in my zippered part of the bag. And that is it for my bag. That's all I've got in mine. And then I have got another, as I mentioned, another box where I've got all kinds of hand wipes and Kleenex tissues and, oh, I don't know, all kinds of things I know I've in the past needed. So all my keys, all my keys go in the front and so does my, my um, telephone, my phone, which I'm using to do this recording. So I can't take it off. So that's it. Um, she says basically, you know, get into a routine of cleaning your bag every now and again, getting all the rubbish out. Use a little vacuum if you like. Um, if get a little money box for coins so they're not jangling in the bottom of your bag. You never know how much you you save, and save your receipts in like one place. Like maybe even do um, something similar to what I've done and have a little teeny purse that you keep uh, receipts and just things you don't want to throw away, but you don't want them sinking to the bottom. So I hope that's been useful. I hope it's been fun. Uh, please uh, let, let us know what's in your bag that's unique and wonderful. It makes us, you know, who we are. And um, just join a conversation. Put your comments in the section below. Don't forget, everybody, to check out our website. 60andme.com forward slash um, mornings. You can get where all our videos are every day and also go to the YouTube channel and also, of course, Facebook. You're always welcome. All those places. Take good care, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Have fun with your handbags <laughs> and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye for now.